Good morning. I'm in Dartmouth, Massachusetts, and I am heading to the daffodil field. Um, this field has been here for a few years, and every year at this time, the daffodils bloom, and there's a sea of color. I have no idea what it looks like because I haven't been there yet this year, but uh, let's go check it out. All right, so you can see there's some folks over there. So obviously, I'm going to go to the other side. Got a couple of cool shots there. But the idea is to always um, obviously have the flowers in the foreground <laughs> um, and, and see what else happens. But there's a woman over there photographing them, so I'm probably gonna take a shot of her. Okay, so as you can see, everyone walks up this way and then walks that way. You can't get in the middle of the flowers. So obviously I'm gonna walk in the opposite direction so that I can anticipate them walking that way with the flowers in the foreground. All right, you can see here, especially here that if I just sit here long enough, I could probably get a really good, strong foreground elements because the flowers are actually pointing in that direction right there. So if you can imagine if I'm just patient enough, they're going to eventually walk this way. And maybe I can use these flowers as a foreground elements. So it's a waiting game. That's the way this is played. You have to wait and you can see them off in the distance over there. I'll get a good shot. The key here is also to make sure that your aperture is wide enough that you can have enough focus in the foreground elements so that when you, the subjects are walking, then these flowers are not just yellow blobs in the foreground. All right, so we got a couple of good shots um, and things like this. I mean, this is not, you know, a photo gallery worth of material, but it's about one or two really good pictures. And you can see that these fine folks even have shirts. This is how big the daffodil field has become. Like seriously cool. Very cool. This is, by the way, run by the DNRT, which is the Dartmouth National a natural resource trust and they have parcels of land all over the place that they make accessible to humans like me.
and, and dogs. You and dogs and birds and squirrels. We love our squirrels. We do. Unless they're eating our bulbs. As long as. <laughs> All right. Well, it's time to move on to the next assignment. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy the pictures. Bye, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Did you get some good pictures? Of course. You got like the best job out here. It's beautiful out here. It is. Ready? Now it's time to say bye to the crow. Meow. <laughs>